Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Have you heard about habit stacking? They say it is one of the best ways to build a new habit. Joining us again to shed light on this technique is life coach Paul Walpert. Welcome back. Thanks, Rita. Habit stacking. What is it? Yes, what is it? Okay. <laughs> so habit stacking, in a sense, is just a series or sequence of habits that are in your life. Okay. Remembering that habits are subconscious thoughts. So let's use you for example. Okay. Take your day starting off in the morning from waking up. Mm -hmm. What happens? I wake up, I go to the bathroom, I meditate, I then have a cup of coffee and the craziness starts in my home with getting my kids to school. Okay, so we have four very specific patterns there. Okay. So a habit stacking is, in a sense, write those down, see them as pods in a, in a sequence. Okay. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to then introduce new habits within that and remove the bad or old habits out of that over time. Okay. The secret to habit stacking is consistency. Yes. We have to be consistent with our thoughts and our choices along the way. So let's say you're waking up, we go to the bathroom. Bathroom associates with what in a bathroom? Um, water. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. Water's healthy to drink. So here's a habit that you can introduce. Leave a glass of water in the bathroom. You walk into the bathroom, what's the first thing you do? Glass of water. And that's introducing a habit, a very small mm. thing. So it's associating different options and um, choices yes. with our day-to-day -day life. Your meditation, is it really just sitting around? What do you, how do you meditate, right, if I may ask? Uh, so I use breath work, um, I use manifestation, Very and I, I actively choose or think about the day that I'd love to have going forward. Fantastic, yeah. so once again, we take meditation, and people meditate in different ways. Yes. I meditate in nature. Yes. I meditate when I'm swimming in, in the ocean. Mm -hmm. But what can you introduce into that? Meditation is a sense of calm and quietness, togetherness, and being with oneself. Yes. What other things do you c come to mind when you meditate? What could you enhance that with? Uh, perhaps journaling. Fantastic, um, brilliant. Yeah, wonderful. Um, and, and then I'd like, you know, I'd like to take this opportunity you here mm. anyway. What I what I do want to develop is a more consistent habit of exercising first thing in the morning, and that's what I'm really struggling with. Fantastic. So that's a great way to now introduce that habit. Yes. Into your daily routine. So you stack that with something Correct. else. Correct. Okay. we're bringing it. So let's say you wake up in the morning. It's difficult to exercise first thing in the morning. Yeah. Let's say we bring in the exercise, exercise straight after your meditation regime. So you go through 20 minutes or 10 minutes of meditation. Knowing full well the next thing you're going to do is a release. In other words, through exercise. Mm. And immediately what happens is the conscious routine of creating that actually becomes part of a habit. Yes. And it forms part of that sequence or series. Yes. So, so Paul, I know that you've got five particular steps it, that we can use to develop this, right? So, Zoraida, it is once again around practice and consistency. Those words keep coming back mm. to me. Mm. So, once again, habits, we have to look at what serves us and what doesn't serve us. And in that stack of, of, um, of habits that we have, almost green light the good ones and red light the bad ones. And what we're trying to do is almost remove the bad habits from our lives. Okay. To create a balance or coherence once again in our lives. It's very okay. important. Yeah. Now, habit stacking is creating certain pods, as I call it, or little battery cells, yeah. or habits that function together. They follow a very uh, good pattern. They flow into one another. Let's start looking at it like that yes. as well. The one follows the other. That's why it's the bathroom, a glass of water, meditation, reading journaling, it all starts flowing in a very yes. coherent state. Yes, I love that. Mm. And, and, and then you anchor in your day. Correct. So I, I'd love to turn the table on you. You mm. know, as a transformational coach, I'm sure that you are a curious, ever-learning student of life. What are some of the new habits that you're trying to implement right now that's still in its beginning stages, and how are you navigating that? Thanks for putting me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> so it's already interesting enough, it's been quite an important one for me this year um, with, in a sense, work stress and what okay. happened and how to facilitate that and getting caught up in it and understanding that I had to make a change. Mm. So in essence, about two months ago, my usual routine, wake up, walk straight to the kitchen, make a cup of coffee, and sit down in front of my computer. Now, if one looks at that from the outside, as in from a neutral or an objective zone, you think there's something missing in that picture. 
because nobody's awake at five o'clock in the morning, or they are, but they're not doing emails and work. So I chose to make a massive change. So my initial thing, what I do now, is I wake up and inherently have the cup of coffee, because that's my kind of go-to. But instead of walking to the computer, I put in a pair of shorts and a T-shirt, and I walk down to the beach. Hmm. So at 5.30 this morning, I was walking on the beach, and it's a 20-minute walk, and all I'm doing over there is it's a sense of meditation for me. Yes. I find the quiet spot. I listen to the sound of the ocean. I do my breath work as well, similar to yourself. And it's just bringing in a new pattern. And ever since I've done that, I'm finding when I step into my day, there's a sense of calm, there's a sense of control, a sense of balance, and yes. once again, a sense of coherence in my life. Mm. Generally, if one looks like an ECG machine, yeah. in the mornings our lives do this, they're very staggered. Yeah. What we're trying to do is create a gentle flow yes. to our lives in the beginning. Similarly, you get to 2 o'clock in the afternoon and you feel, now it's got to fetch the kids and things are going on. Re, or in a sense, remember that session on the beach in the morning. Mm. Bring that back into play. Mm. And then what happens is through a bit of easy breath work or whatever it is, or just being mindful, yes. taking two minutes to breathe, it settles everything again as well. Thank you, Paul, for all your wisdom. Remember that habit stacking is a simple yet powerful tool that can lead to personal and profound growth in your life.